let's start now so today uh, we are going to talk about uh, the next different side that is the anterior compartment of the thigh last time we discussed about the arm the anterior compartment of arm where uh, how to approach how to uh, dissect how to plan surgery and then a surgical video similarly for today's session i have planned for the anterior compartment of thigh so what are we going to learn today today we are going to learn the relevant anatomy of this site uh, i don't want it to be just a theoretical but i want that you should learn and you should my once you have gone through this lecture there should be a thought provoking uh, concept in your mind that how how we approach uh, the tumors in the anterior compartment what are the clinical structures which are at risk how do we approach them how do we save them because you know uh, before i start how many uh, of us here uh, have joined uh, how many are from orthopedics and how many from general surgery surgical risk then any idea do we have so resident so from surgery i think you can raise your hands or you can put the name in chat box yeah just just because you know these the soft tissue tumors are you are both are going to see them so how do we approach them last time we had uh, i thought it will be a short presentation but uh, when i started discussing i realized that uh, many concepts were not clear so i went into depth to explain in detail how we approach a tumor how we biopsy it so i will not do shortcuts today i am already mentally prepared that we'll discuss things in detail and especially the relevant anatomy in the thigh and uh, which structures are at risk and how do we approach a tumor if it is present in the anterior or medial or lateral compartment so let's start with the basic anatomy if you see the when we talk about thigh the first part is the presence of your bone now what are the important critical structures which we encounter so you know the first part is the bone itself which if resected or if, if we have to take a cut because of the soft tissue involvement needs uh, reconstruction you need a mechanical support the second structures are your muscles now you see the compartments in the thigh normally you have the anterior compartment and the posterior compartment and in the anterior compartment the important muscles that you see are basically the quadriceps group of muscles can anybody tell me the names from orthopedics or general surgery which uh, which muscles are the quadriceps group of muscles anyone quickly i would love to have a more interactive one otherwise you see if it is just a passive teaching i can it can be covered very quickly but such thought provoking questions will also stimulate you and you will also learn so which muscles constitute the quadriceps group anyone master and rectus is no one is responding sir okay no one is responding everybody is afraid so when we talk about yeah somebody wanted to say something yeah no. sure the vastus group of muscles and the rectus right so which are the vastus group of muscles the vastus intermedius the vastus medialis and the vastus lateralis very good so see there is if for understanding let me draw the diagram in sagittal view also so that you understand it better this is your patella so normally what happens the in the quadriceps uh, when we talk about the quadriceps group of muscles all these muscles they merge together here over the patella to form the quadriceps group quadriceps tendon and further through patella the attachment through the patellar tendon 
it is trans attached to the proximal tibia. So here what you see, mainly over the muscle group which is just directly overlying the femur is your vastus intermedius. This is something, the one which is closely opposed. Right? Now, when you come to, this is just directly over the bone. Papa. I would say, please mute yourself. Then you have in the medial compartment, your vastus medialis. In the lateral side, vastus lateralis. And the most important, the toughest one in the center is your rectus femoris. So all these muscles, they converge together. They attach all the patella and then uh, through as a patellar tendon, they go down and attach over the proximal tibia. So this is just the basic of anatomy of the muscular group. Now, coming to this part, this anatomy is more relevant in the mid and the lower thigh. Now, actually, there are a lot of more muscles which are there, especially the proximal part of the thigh. When we talk about the proximal aspects, there is a lot more attachments. So, primarily, I'm not going into details of that one because... Uh, I have a different lecture on that in the proximal thigh and the inguinal and the pelvic region where I'll be covering that side in uh, a separate topic. But just to give you an overall view in, in the proximal part, uh, the other critical structures, like I said, you have bone, your muscles, then your nerve, and then the vessels. So these are the critical structures which we need to keep in our mind when we plan any type of surgical procedure for tumor in the anterior compartment. So which nerves are at risk in the anterior compartment? Anyone? Yes, volunteers. In the thigh. The femoral end of the rater. Very good. So... The femoral nerve is which starts from the nerve roots and then it traverses down from the pelvis. It is in the lateral most compartment. You see from the pelvic, if you see the pelvic ring below the inguinal ligament, you have femoral nerve, then artery and the vein. So this nerve comes down, gives off multiple branches to the uh, thigh muscles. It is important for uh, supplies the extensor muscles of the knee. And that's why any damage leads to weakness of this muscle. So as, the, as this nerve goes down, it has further division. And I think a very important division is your called saphenous nerve, a branch of the femoral nerve. This is your femoral and this saphenous nerve is important because it has branches which supplies the medial compartment and along the part of the knee. Now coming to the important vessels, how does the neurovascular bundle arises? You, below the inguinal ligament from external iliac, it becomes femoral. The superficial femoral and the deep femoral, these traverse down. Now, specifically, the most critical thing in the tumors of proximal thigh is about this vascular bundle only. You know, because the path of this vessel, the femoral vessel, is not that straight as we think. In fact, once it comes down, once it comes down, initially it is in the medial compartment, but at some point of time, it goes back into the posterior compartment and then forms your popliteal vessel where it divides into anterior tibial and then the tibioperoneal trunk and which goes down further forms the posterior tibial and the peroneal 
uh, artery or vein. So that is how the course is there. And why it is important? So far we have just read it. But once you start operating, and especially if you are operating trauma, I have seen orthopedic surgeons being very scared of going above the one third, lower third, going proximally because of the fear of the vessels. But if you know the anatomy well, and uh, if you are aware, you can approach uh, anything from any side. As the orthooncologist, we expose the femur completely with the total femur replacements for a tumor in the medial thigh, in the mid part, in the proximal part. We have, we have to approach from that area. So we must be very thorough with a 360 degree orientation of the anatomy. From which side we are going to approach, how, what structures we are going to dissect out and uh, which structures we have to preserve. So it's very important that we are fully aware of this anatomy. So this was a broad overview of today's applied anatomy. And uh, of course, we will see all the structures, this uh, the vessels, which usually they are covered by the sartorius underneath. And then they, in the mid-lower part junction, they go posteriorly through the adductor hiatus which is a aponeurotic bundle under which this uh, vessels goes. And that is the site of injury, where if you are not aware of the anatomy, you may injure the uh, femoral artery.